Thank you for ordering your sustaining and ion exchange membranes for alkaline electrolyzers from Dioxide Materials, the CO2 recycling company. As we get started, please remember to wear your goggles, your gloves, and follow all SDS information that was provided in your package. As you see here, we're getting ready to open our package. It contains the membrane that was shipped to you. We're simply going to remove the membrane. It's attached to the liner. So as we remove it, we're going to place the membrane face down in a horizontal bath here. The bath, again, the membrane is going to be face down. And now we're simply going to put glass bottles as weights on the corners to ensure that the membrane stays immersed in the KOH bath, one molar of KOH, for at least four to five hours. This potassium hydroxide will activate the membrane and enable the liner to come right off. As you see here also, you have the option to use a smaller beaker. Here we just cut a piece and we placed it in one molar of KOH where again it would sit there. Here we're removing the glass bottles because our membrane has actually just um, activated um, and removed itself from the liner as you see here. Here's the liner. We're going to discard that liner. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to lift the membrane. We want to turn it over. See how easy the membrane removed itself from the liner. So now we're simply going to place the membrane back into the KOH bath for at least 24 hours. You need to immerse it in one molar of KOH for at least 24 hours after it's removed from the liner. Again, we're just placing it in the bath for the 24 hours where it'll sit there until we're ready to use it for applications in the electrolyzer. Okay, our membranes are ready. Now we're ready to mount. Please mount the membranes immediately after any required pretreatments to prevent drying and maintain 100% humidity in the electrolyzer after installation. You want to do that to prevent excessive shrinkage. As you see here, everything is set to go. Important reminders, now that you saw how easy it is to remove the membrane from the liner, again, please follow all SDS information. Handle the membranes carefully. Any punctures, creases, scratches may lead to leaks, so make sure that all surfaces are smooth and free of sharp projections. Um, dust free, everything, however small. You need to make sure that you know this, this applies to any areas such as receiving, inspection, storage, pretreatment, cutting, mounting, as well as electrolyzer components. The membranes will expand and contract based on moisture content. Thank you for ordering your sustaining and ion exchange membranes from Dioxide Materials. If you're interested in reordering, please do so at www.dioxidematerials.com.